All right, so I think we're ready for some final assembly here. Um, we're going to use these uh, new little helping hands that I rigged up. So let's start by putting a, a, a little plate in between so that it doesn't uh, doesn't close down. So this is one of those situations you need, well, you'd like to have four hands or something. So we're going to use a pin to line this up, get it up in there. So. get real clever here so these are these alligator clip uh, no helping hand deals so I can find a, a spot and lock that down let's see here that's quite a happy place there all right and then this one here is going to hold this little thing because it wants to be held up just a little bit like that. Okay. Let's see. Here. All right. Well, I got everything kind of lined up on the press. Ooh. You know what? Am I, am I going to screw up here? I think I have enough stroke here. Okay, well let's try it. Here's the pin. So here, you know, I kind of want to hold the pin with with one hand and work the lever with the other. Come on, Mr. Wizard. Okay, there she goes. Hey, it still moves. Good sign, right? All right. That's a little tight. All right, let's get this out of here. All right. Well, let's put the other one in. All right. Let's see how this goes. This pin is... Uh, Pretty short. Had to uh, grind this down from. Uh, all right, there it goes. Hopefully I'm not blocking the. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, yes. I had to make a custom little. Uh, in fact, that diameter wasn't. Uh, wasn't small enough. Not that cool. It's probably hitting on that edge in an inappropriate way. All right, let's give it a little more. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, it's a little stiff, but that's okay. So we can do something about that. It's stiff because I think we're rubbing on that one. This one was fine. So usually when you do something like this, it's really nice to to have uh, like the upper the upper hole a slip fit and the bottom one a light press. That way it spreads the flanges a little bit and then you can push it back together. But uh, uh, I had limited choices in reamers in, in this situation. So alright, let's fiddle around with it a little bit, loosen it up, and uh, give it a try. So far so good. All right, so there it is installed, and we're gonna give it a try. I got a piece of piece of brass here. Um, the smallest drill I have is a um, number eighty. Uh, I'll look around some more. I might have something a little smaller than that, uh, but we'll try that to start with. Um, so the first trick is to get a spot started on center uh, accurately and a couple ways you can do that you can use something like this single lip cutter here that's uh, got a conical point on it to kind of rub a, a spot kind of dead dead nuts in the center 
This, uh, you won't be able to see it, but this is a starting drill. It's not really a drill, but it's more like a trocar. It has three flats on it that come to a point that's on center. So we're going to use that and um, basically it's going to scrape um, a little center uh, right at the center of rotation and that's kind of key with uh, working with small small tools and small drills like that. Now one nice thing about uh, <laughs> this kind of stuff is you don't really need a chuck key because <laughs> the forces are really low and um, I'm just going to put it in there by hand like so. Okay. I'll probably get a little closer and then, uh, I'm going to try to zoom in and get up on there so you guys can see what's going on as best I can. So, okay, this looks pretty good from here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Look at that. There's a little hair-like drill. I'm trying not to bump the camera here to disturb you guys in your in your leisure. I'm gonna choke up on that a little bit too. Now let me get a little closer here. Kind of ridiculous. It really should be spinning a, a lot faster than this, but uh, I got this big chuck with a sub chuck on it, and I'm, I kind of don't want to spin it real fast, so let's just try this. Oh, uh, you know what? Mr. Bozo didn't get the drill in there right. It's really easy to do. Okay, that doesn't look right either. Let's see. All right, you know what? I gotta back this off. Get it up in there. I really choked up on it. All right. Yeah, sweet. I got total sensitivity on this. You can totally feel what's going on. It's really nice. Total control. Sweet. Yeah, you just got to get the drill and the dang chuck straight. And then, as you see here, there's a uh, chips uh, packing up in that. Anyway, uh, let me see if I can find a smaller drill. We'll see what we can do with a smaller drill. Alright, I found some smaller drills. So this drill here that we're looking at through the <clears throat> eyepiece of the Toolmaker's microscope, this is about five thousandths in diameter. So if I reference up there and then crank over to there, I get about five thousandths. Okay? So I'm going to try to show you one of these drills out in the air and uh, you'll get a, a sense of just how small this is. It looks, it looks actually like a really nice drill from here, <laughs> but uh, when you look at them in person, uh, it's a little different. Okay, so there it is <laughs> in, uh, you know, full size. This, gives, this probably gives you some sense of, uh, yeah, let's do this, let's turn it over. So those are half millimeter grads there. I don't know if that helps or hurts on the big screen. Actually, it's probably better like that. Anyway, there it is. Right there, there's the tip. So, let's go try that in, uh, in our little sensitive feed and see if we can snap that sucker off. Here's a picture of the setup we're going to use. Um, and I get an indicator on here to kind of monitor uh, um, you know the depth that we're we're going in there. So this is just a starting drill here, and then I'm gonna try to sneak up in here and get a little mark on there. Let's see if I can. I didn't leave enough enough room. <laughs> okay.
okay so the normal normal sharpie doesn't fit so I'm gonna get a different sharpie um, yeah because I don't think I quite have the center in there yet uh, it's it, so I can see the, the the dot appear basically is why I'm marking it so anyway I'll get you in all on the tight sh shot and then we'll uh, drill try to drill some holes okay so we got it marked kind of ready to go just to for perspective there's a uh, the size of a fine tip uh, sharpie so this little diameter here that I turned down that's one millimeter forty thousandths in diameter and we're gonna drill into the end of that uh, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna attempt to drill it to the end of that so uh, I think we're ready to go here let's uh, fire it up now this is the starting drill here I'm just gonna put a little, a little two thou or so and one thou one and a half. That's probably plenty. So let's go with that and I'm going to switch over to the uh, micro drill. Alright, so there's the uh, super califragilistic uh, teeny tiny drill. Let's see what happens. Um, I can barely see it myself. I, I'm trying not to bump the camera and get my big head in there. That's why I have so much... I got a a long stick out from the lathe here just so I can get at it. So let's uh, let's go for it. 1000 RPM here. already 10 thousandths in. <laughs> Air hose probably break that stupid drill. I'm looking at it from the side. I don't know what it looks like from the top because the camera's in the way. I suppose I could watch it. I can't watch the view, the uh, the screen on the camera and the indicator at the same time. I can't quite do that. <laughs> I can't split my eyeballs like a chameleon. Let's uh, let's part that off, and then uh, well, maybe I'll drill a little further, and I'll part it off, and then we'll take a look at it under the microscope. All right. So actually, I got a pretty good shot down the uh, microscope this time. So there's our hole that we just did, and uh, um, so there's our forty thousandths diameter, the blue, right, all across there. Joop. And then there's our little hole that we put in there. So when I measure it with the with the microscope. Uh, reticle and dials I get about seven thousandths uh, diameter um, which is a little bit oversized so there must have been a teeny bit of run out um, or the you know the drill wobbled a little bit or something and then that uh, let's see if I can change the focus a little bit so the edge of the hole is is down from the surface a little bit so if I change, it's hard to look through the viewfinder here. I can sharpen the edge of the hole a little bit, uh, depending on, you know, by changing the Z height of the, of the microscope to focus on the edge of the hole. So right now we're kind of focused on the surface of the blue. And then if we go down a little bit, let's see if I can do it. There you go. It sharpens up the edge of the hole a little bit. So that's kind of what you're looking for. Anyway, so uh, that was drilled with the little hand feed thing. And... Um, um, I don't know, kind of fun. So uh, um, you can do tiny, tiny holes. And uh, there's a the little guy right there. And 
Um, I don't know. I don't have much more to say. Uh, it was a fun little project, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.